Nearly half a million flights pass through Heathrow every year, which means welcoming 650 landings and saying bon voyage to over 660 departures each day. That's heaven for some, and hell for others. I've got a whole fear of aeroplanes, which is strange for someone that works in an airport, I know, um, but I just don't like them. Last time I went on there, I had to do those nobody else. My pulse went up from um, 63 to 104, and that was just getting off. I hate aeroplanes with a passion, <laughs> and I've just said that to the wrong team. <laughs> Border Force Rob can't get away from his flying demons. Today, him and his team are swooping from gate to gate, making spot checks on passengers as soon as they disembark. There we go. There it is. Tell everybody to get their passports and ID cards ready for inspection. Thank you. Okay. You're travelling alone? One person alone? Yeah. And why have you come to London? The job of Border Force is to protect the British border, as well as ensuring the welfare of those entering the UK. How long are you here for? Uh, two days. Two days. Two days. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Who's next, please? Sir, can you come forward? Come forward. As officers slowly file through the passengers, they come across a Romanian man who's told them he's come to the country to work. What kind of work will you be doing here in the UK? Construction. Construction? Construction. So how many hours will you be working? Do you know how many hours a day? No. 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 He doesn't, he speaks very limited English. He has no money on him. So we're just going to go back and we'll get a rope translator for Romanian for you so we can talk properly. Patron. Patron. The boss is from ah, the The boss, boss is in the boss. boss. We get an interpreter on the Yeah, it'd be helpful. Okay. Yeah, we'll head down. Yeah. Brilliant. East European workers coming to the UK are often hired for cheap labour, which sometimes leads to exploitation. So Rob and his team need to find out more about this man's situation. OK, so if you place your baggage... Further clues might well lie in his personal belongings. It's about understanding everything from what he states his reason to the coming to the UK is um, versus what's in his bag. He brought his own food as well. So this food is for you? Yeah. OK. Brought his own frozen chicken. That's fine, it's okay, it's okay. I'm a corn veggie burger person for myself, mate. It's, uh, that's okay, no problem. Finding raw chicken is nothing really. We find all sorts in bags. Um, I've come across dead goats. That was someone who was studying witchcraft. You just bring a dead goat in your bag, yes, as you do. Yeah, I mean, I, I always do. We've got a lot of work clothes here, so this is a good indication of the passengers' intentions here. There we go, more work pants. In the UK, Romanian builders form the most prominent foreign workforce in the construction industry. Judging by the, the quality of the clothing that he's got here and the quality of the, uh, the toiletries that he's got as well, quite old, so maybe indicating poverty back home. He's brought his life with him. So we're all done, yeah? The back search? Working in the UK on minimum wage as a builder could be a life-changing opportunity, as you earn three times more than in Romania. Ultimately, this chap's come to the UK for a better life. He's come from a poor country, he's got no money, he's got no possessions, he's got absolutely nothing. So, in all fairness to him, on a personal note, he's probably done the right thing. But it's important that we establish that that work is within the laws and that the employers themselves are responsible. Um, that's where I'm getting to. I want to get to the person who's behind it. Thank you very much. Border Force officers are investigating the circumstances surrounding a Romanian construction worker who's been promised a job in the UK. I'm just waiting for an interpreter. Who is he going to be working for while he's here? He really doesn't know his okay. name. What's the name of the company the boss owns? He doesn't know it. And how are they going to pay you? So how will you collect your wages? Not sure how they will pay. 
Name the address that you're going to be staying in. Ieșirea acolo și asta rezolvă totul. Ur patorul, dacă vine să mă ia... He needs to know that as a Romanian national, he has a right to work here, but he also has a right to earn minimum wage here as well. And um, if he isn't, then he is being exploited. And if he is being exploited, then he will get the necessary help. Thank you very much. There's a lot of red flags that I'm, I'm not happy with at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to find out who this sponsor is and if there is something untoward going on. I've got my suspicions. The most important thing that we need to do now is just gather every little piece of evidence that we possibly can to try and make the right decision for the passenger. Um, ultimately, it's this passenger's life that we're dealing with here, so the, uh, the only choice has got to be the right choice. Yeah, so uh, we just took to the chap to the toilet and then he received a phone call from a guy called Gabriel. So he's claiming to be a friend and he said, oh, who are you? He's a bit reluctant to give any details. When I said Border Force, it was more forthcoming. He said he gave me a contact number for a guy and um, he said he knows about where he'll be staying, what job he'll be doing. So it's probably best if we give that person a call. Enter paradise. Hello. Hello, it's uh, immigration here at Heathrow Airport. Yes. Hello, are you expecting anyone into the UK today? I am indeed, yes. Who are you expecting? Nicholas, his name is. OK. Um, what relationship is Nicholas to yourself? He's uh, basically, I'm going to be employing him for a construction job. Where is he going to be staying? Is accommodation part of the job? Or? It is indeed, yes. Is that his own flat or is he going to be sharing? He's going to be sharing, that's right, yeah. With how many? Shared accommodation. OK. How many hours a week will he be working? Well, eight to ten hours. It'll be a day, probably. And what's he going to be paid? At the moment, it's going to be paid what, minimum, minimum pay of eight pounds something. So who arranges the, the national insurance and the tax side of it for him? I will, I will be doing that when he arrives. As soon as he's got his paperwork ready, I'll employ him. That's wonderful. Can I, can I just ask you, I mean, I'm, you're asking me all sorts of questions, kind of thing, but I'm not really understanding what the entire purpose for it. Or is it. Is it something wrong with him, or is there something I'd rather not if I'm taking somebody on? Yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, he comes to the UK. Um, he's got limited use of English, so we just need to make sure that everything's course, all right yeah. for him. Yeah. So that's yeah. why that's all it is at this stage. OK, thank you very much for your help. Thank you, then, bye. -bye. Thank you, bye-bye. He probably does own the company. He probably does have the company. With the owner verifying that he is the man's employer and showing responsibility, the next step is to establish the authenticity of the company itself. Right, let's run this business address through Intel. Let's do some checks on it. Let's see if anything comes back on that, yeah? yeah. And Rob makes sure the business is trading legitimately by also running its details through the police database. There's good news as the checks come back clear. Finally, the eager worker and his frozen chicken are allowed to enter the country. OK, lovely, thank you. OK, so if you just follow my colleague. There was a lot of mixed feelings with him um, while he was here because obviously it was a new country for him so he didn't know what was right and what was wrong here. So I think there was a big sigh of relief as he did walk away from the airport and hopefully we've done everything we can to, to look after him.